Hello, University of Dayton Liturgy Scholars. My name is Father Pete Jankowski, and welcome to the 14th Station of the Cross. Jesus is laid in the tomb. The Stations of the Cross were developed as a private devotion to allow the faithful to imagine how Jesus walked these steps to his ultimate death and burial. Did you know that the Stations of the Cross, not all of them are actually included in the Bible. In the traditional stations of the cross, the three times that Jesus fell, Jesus being put in the arms of his mother, these stations are not actually found in the Bible, but in a private devotion, if you are letting your mind enter into the life of Jesus, you can only imagine how Jesus had to suffer and the agony he endured. And these stations allow us to visualize how Jesus endured his suffering and his death. What I want to do today is I want to talk a little bit about the difference between liturgical prayer and private devotion. The prayers that are instituted by the church versus the prayers that we offer for our own personal growth. The catechism would say that a liturgical prayer is something that is given to us by God that helps build the church and the work of the church together. It's a communal prayer. The word church, the idea of church, Jesus dying on the cross and his blood and water flowing from his side, essentially is Christ marrying us and Christ leading us and Christ guiding us. And so these liturgical prayers that we have been given by God uh, allow us as a community to come together. The sacraments are a liturgical prayer. Benediction is a liturgical prayer. Obviously the Mass is uh, a liturgical prayer. And the Mass draws us all together so as a community we can pray as a church, as the Bride of Christ. We can pray together to give our thanks to God. And so what God has done for us is God has given us a direction. God has given us parameters in which we could live our lives. So the third commandment, God telling us to keep holy the Sabbath day, we understand that by meaning to go to church on Sundays as a community. Or the whole idea of private prayer is to build our personal relationship with God, and that's important. But we need to do this as a community because this is how God established the church, the community of believers who come together as one holy apostolic voice. And this is what we're doing. We're doing this together as guided by our Lord through the bishops and the bishops' assistants, the priests and the deacons who gather us together. And so at a mass, when we pray, we pray as one voice. We pray as brothers and sisters gathered together around this table to listen to God's word, to respond to God's word, and then to share a meal together. This is a book called The Liturgy of the Hours. This is the official prayer of the Catholic Church. There are seven different times during the day where we gather together. Even if we say it individually, we are speaking in one voice with all the other people who are praying these particular prayers around the world, priests and religious, deacons, bishops, religious sisters. We say these prayers in one symbolic voice to tell God that we are united with him. We have what's called benediction. It's where we expose what we call the body of Christ, the real presence. We come together and we have a conversation with God as a community where we adore God, where we spend time with God and where God speaks to us in the silence of our hearts. These liturgical prayers are meant to be done as a community. Private prayer, private devotion, is where we have an opportunity to individually build our relationship with God. Now we can do that together with other people, but these are not the sanctioned uh, prayers of the church that God has established. These are the prayers that we as individuals have put together to draw ourselves closer to God in other ways. So for instance, the rosary. As important as the rosary is, the rosary from the Latin word rosarium, which means garden of prayers, every time we pray a Hail Mary or an Our Father, it's like planting a seed in the garden. The rosary is a private devotion. The rosary can be done in all kinds of different ways. 
These stations of the cross are not set in stone. We do not have these actual 14 stations that we must use. We can do them in so many different ways to remind us of Jesus' passion, of Jesus' suffering. When we come together for other devotionals like uh, novenas, novenas can be done by the community on different days to remind us of different charisms of the church, whether it's a charism of a certain saint or as we have in Spanish, Las Posadas, which is Mary and Joseph walking each day towards where Jesus is born. These are private devotions and private devotions build our individual relationship with God, which are really important. They're important because we want to build a personal relationship. It's like a relationship with a spouse or with a friend. The more time we spend with the one we love, the more the relationship grows and we need to do that. But we need to do it individually. We need to do it as a community. We need to have private prayer. We need to have liturgical prayer. But I want you to know that we need to build both. So I hope you're able to do that and learn a little bit more about the importance of the different ways that we can build a relationship with God. God bless.